things theology, all things theology We chop it up properly, without an apology Gotta give doxology to God hollow Because this is how we do it at all things theology Yo, grace and peace guys, welcome back to another episode of All Things Theology where I'm your host K-Dub and today I want to talk about the local church, a little ecclesiology. Hope this video is encouraging, but it might be convicting. But before we do that, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not, and as always, click the notification bell so you can be aware when I drop content. So, I want to talk about ecclesiology, ecclesiology, the doctrine of the church, the study of the church. So, um, oftentimes when I talk about this subject, uh, many people, and I'm sure it'll happen in this video, respond, uh, you know, we are the church. That's been the often response to why they don't necessarily need to be in a local church, right? God is not within the house of brick and mortar, you know, some something to that extent. Well, let me correct that attitude and also answer the question, do you or should you be in a local church? Should you join a local church? The unequivocal answer to that biblically speaking, is yes. Let me first start off with why you should attend a local church, why you should be active and present in a local church. First off, um, the Bible assumes that position. Matter of fact, the, the letters of the Bible were written to churches. If you were not present in a local church, if you had the brick and attitude, I don't need to gather the gather as long as I have the Bible and me attitude, you wouldn't have even received a letter from the apostle. That's first. Second, why you should join a local church is that is a means of how God is sanctifying and growing you. In other words, what I'm saying is you cannot live your Christian life by yourself. You need the body. You need the whole. You need other people who are wiser, smarter, who's going through what you may be going through right now, who the Lord oftentimes will use them to direct in your situation. And, 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 you know, in your experience, will maybe shed light on a text that you, you know, <laughs> I know we like to think we're just smart and we're, we're it, right? God just worried about us and no one else. Uh, no, I think that's a selfish attitude. Uh, join a body. Uh, so, and, and guess what? Submitting to the elders. That's part of the church. Um, I'm very thankful of the people I know online who uh, exhibit this attitude, who are very concerned. And I think there's some controversy going on which is causing people to think more about the local church. And I'm, and I'm very thankful for that. God often uses controversy to uh, shape our thinking, shape, you know, uh, or bring us to text. Maybe we, we, we never thought of in that way. Um, I say this, you can fake the funk. You can <laughs> as um, see, I'm using language. My pastor says you can uh, fake the funk. You can fool a lot of people online, but it's very hard to fool people in the local church. Not, not saying it's impossible, right? We're we're fallible men. But right, people can appear wholly theologically and uh, astute online, and then you meet them in person. You're like, "That's the same guy. This guy is cussing up a storm and doing all this." And you know, wow, no, I, I don't think that's the same guy. That, like I said, because I don't believe it was God's intent. It's God's intention for us to live the Christian life on social media. Now I'm not saying we shouldn't share truths. And I, I mean, I'm doing this video on social media, so that's not what I'm saying, but I, this is not church. This is not the local church. This is not a replacement for the local church. Go to, go to your body and guess what? Be active in it. Be active in serving, um, you know, discipling all these things are what the early church did. And, like I said, before the internet, before social media, right? Uh, yeah, we can get to advance these things maybe further because we have social media, have the internet, right? That's a blessing. Praise God. But listening to uh, your favorite preacher on Sunday is not local church. They have no idea who you are and they have you have no idea really of who they are besides outside of the preaching. It's supposed to be this equal, uh, you know, you're submitting to your pastor. The, the pastor knows who you are. You have a relationship with them. Um, and there's accountability there. Like I said, in the local church, um, a lot of these things can get snuffed out, right? It, it exposes sin in you that you maybe didn't even know you were struggling with that another brother, another sister come alongside in a gracious manner. Uh, and, and this is why I think sometimes maybe people, uh, maybe struggle with how they speak with others because they're not doing it in their local body. They're not doing it in the local church. And so, yeah, 
you know, they can just go off on the keyboard, call people idiots and all kinds of names, because guess what? They're not used to speaking to people. And guess what? It doesn't seem like it's a real live person they're talking to. But when you're in the local church, it it kind of that face to face meeting where you can hear someone's tone and heart. It kind of checks you on how you even should speak. Right. It's it, it can be convicting once you hear another brother or sister being gracious. Like, wow, they, they were they were very gracious to me, you know, and I've been convicted with people in the local. So 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 what I'm saying <laughs> Being a local church has many blessings and benefits. Um, like I said, people who are wiser and smarter than you who can who can uh, walk alongside you. And guess what? Maybe you are wiser and smart, uh, wiser and, you know, more holy, sanctified in your walk currently than others to where people can benefit from you. So it, either either way, you can be a benefit or be benefited by being in the local church. Either way, you're going to be blessed. Me and my wife are talking about this recently how we've we are never um we we are we never regret going to church we've always regretted not going you know oftentimes it's been because of sickness so we couldn't go but you you get the point i'm making um but for some people church is an inconvenience you know it meets too early meets too late you know man i the football game is on i i can't you know and so for some people they view church as an inconvenience but we should not view it that way, right? Uh, oftentimes, people put more energy in their jobs. Maybe they're like, oh, it's, I can't find a church close. The one I know is 45 minutes away. They'll drive an hour of work five day, five times out of the week, but they won't go to church for one day out of the week, um, which I find very interesting and ironic. Pour more into your spiritual growth than even your physical means. If that means moving, because you don't know any good churches that are, you know, over than two hours away. Hey, do what you have to do, you know, to the best of your ability. Be in a local church, guys. Today, like, guys, the, the days are dark. Right? The days are dark. And I'm 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 way more encouraged by people in my local church than social media. Like I'm thankful for people I know on social media, but my body, man, I'm like, man, sometimes I Maybe you're watching the video. You know what I mean when I say this. You've left a good fellowship. Like, it's it's late, right? Awkwardly, like, man, man yo, yo, we stay late. Everybody knows it's late. And you're just like, man, I had a good time. Everybody, but everybody, everybody's like glad they stayed, right? And you've had a good time, good, sweet time of fellowship to use the, the language of Jonathan Edwards. Sweet. It was, it was good. And you were just so blessed. You, you don't have that same interaction on social media, right? It's a post. It's usually an argument, which I get, right? Well, I, I get into controversial stuff here, but majority of my life, majority of our life should be serving the body, benefiting the body, discipling one another, et cetera, et cetera. And so, man, I hope this video was an encouragement. Maybe it is convicting. Maybe you're not in a local church. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. You know, maybe we can talk more about the ecclesiology, but I hope to do more videos on this topic. I think it's very needed in times like this where often people neglect the local church. They view themselves as a church to themselves, right? They're the elder, they're the deacon, they're the body. And it's just them themselves in the Bible. Now, I'm thankful you have the Bible. Thankful we have Bibles. But do what the Bible says. Join to the local body. We're to be members. Even the idea of members are, are uh, presupposes that you've joined yourself to it, that you're in agreement with it, a localized area. Yes, there's a universal church. Amen. You guys, if you're watching this video, if you're a Christian, you repented of your sins, trusted in Christ, you are my brother. We're in the universal church. But I'm speaking about the localized church. And I think that's often neglected today. So if you have any questions, please ask me. Let's talk about it. If there's something else you want to hear, let me know. Maybe I can get into that. But thank you guys for watching this video. Till the next time, y'all, grace and peace.